Welcome to Artful Aging with Amy, where I ask caregivers and professionals the difficult questions that will give you guidance on your life's journey. Support is only one conversation away, and this is your first step. Let's go. Good morning, everyone. I'm Amy Friesen, and this is Artful Aging with Amy. Today on the show, I'm speaking with Dan McEwen, the Director of Marketing Development at Modi Tech Canada. This is a company that has caught my attention and I love introducing you to new and innovative businesses and products in the senior space. Modi Tech has combined physical activity with their Modi View video library to encourage seniors and those living with dementia to be more physically and cognitively active as well as socially connected. Welcome Dan, thanks so much for joining me today. Hey Amy, thanks for having me. This is exciting. I'm so happy to have you here. And Dan, I know that you can help describe this wonderful technology so much better than I can. So could you please share with our audience who Moditech is and what a Motiview is all about? Hey, gladly, Amy. But I do have to start by congratulating you on Artful Aging and Tea and Toast. It's such amazing support you're providing to family members as they're navigating this transition in life. Uh, to retirement and senior living communities. Well, thank you. But, all right, so to Moti Tech. <laughs> Although I represent the Canadian office here in beautiful Ottawa, Moti Tech, in fact, started as a pilot project in the city of Bergen, Norway, back in 2013. Something about those Nordic countries have a step ahead of us sometimes. Uh, well, the Department of Nursing Homes wanted to increase physical activity for their residents. They went out and purchased some active passive peddlers but realize very quickly that you need the right motivation to stay in the activity long enough to get the benefit and have the desire to come back day after day. And so the staff got innovated and asked our team, which were doing video and film production at the time, to make some video routes from the streets of Bergen, routes that these cyclists would recognize. And they coupled it with the bikes and did a little bit of a pilot project, looking at the benefit of adding these videos, excuse me, to the bikes. And needless to say, the results were incredible. Uh, better sleep, better appetite, lower responsive behaviors for those with dementia. Um, so the team made more and more mo uh, MotiView videos for the, the cyclists and titled it, as I said, MotiView. It's motivational viewing. We've come a long way from the roots in Bergen to over 2,000 videos from 40 different countries and continually growing every year uh, in collaboration with those that are, are using our product. So where are their memories from? Where did they want to cycle to? Where were their va happy vacation spots? And that's how we make our video. So we continue to be passionate about supporting seniors living in long-term care, retirement, t attending day activity centers, but as you said, increasing physical, cognitive, and social connectedness. That's amazing. Uh, I'm, like I said, I'm so happy to kind of display the company and what you guys are all about. Now, before the show, I always ask my guests to share with me what drew them to their profession and interest. And I have to say, Dan, I love your story. Could you share it with us? Oh, thank you, Amy. I've, I've got a bit of a strange story. I've always had a heart for seniors. I credit my Nana for that. She's just a lovely lady, and I love hearing her stories. Um, I was actually in academia. I was doing a postdoctoral fellowship at the University of Ottawa, uh, studying rehabilitation sciences. Really, again, fall prevention was my domain. Um, so I joined a cabi funded project. It's the Center for Aging and Brain Health Innovation at Briere Continuing Care and the University of Ottawa. Um, and we were actually assessing Modiview in the long-term care home there. And so I saw the results, not just on the main users, the cyclists, the residents that were pedaling on and reminiscing, but also those that weren't participating would turn in their chairs and, and sing along and, and reminisce with us. Even the staff member was bopping along as they were dispensing medications in the room. So I said, this is amazing. I ended up leaving the project and joined Motitech as they were planting their, their roots here in Canada. Uh, to start increasing the, the user sites across Canada. That's amazing. And I have to poke a little fun at you, Dan, because you had mentioned that you hadn't heard the song Yellow Polka Dot Bikini when you wrote in to me. And this has been a staple in a lot of our viewers' lives, and even mine. I've worked in the seniors industry for 20 years now. So mm -hmm. you're, if you're not sure of the song, here's a sample that I'm going to play for you. Oh, no. One, two, three, four. Tell them what she <laughs> Now, 
Now, I'm sure it is going to be stuck in all of your heads for the rest of the day, and you are welcome. <laughs> oh, I appreciate that, Amy. It's so true. The song I was talking about that the staff member was bopping along to was Yellow Polka Dot Bikini, and the, the residents that weren't participating with me started singing along, and here I was having no idea about the words, and they would sing every word to that song with the smiles across their face. So it was a, a really joyful moment, and I thought, you know what, the addition of music to Modi just takes it to that next level, and I knew this would work. Yeah, it's lovely, and like I said, that's a song that's a pretty good staple, so I've heard it all my life as well. But I Dan, bet. let's discuss some of the benefits you're seeing with mm. Modi View. What have you seen the biggest benefit to be? Absolutely. Well, start in the physical domain. A stationary cycling is a great activity for everybody. It's a safe, inclusive activity, low impact on the joints, improving the endurance and the strength in the legs, which has, has implications on your functional independence. Maintaining as an active participant in your daily living tasks is so important. So the pedaling aspect, whether it be with the feet or with the upper extremity, can maintain your independence. Um, some of the bikes have a passive motor, thinking people recovering post-stroke, post-hip fracture, or later stage dementias helps drive the legs forward. I say passive movement is better than no movement at all. Then you can track that and see, oh, they're actually actively passive or pedaling um, more frequently now. So there, there's that physical domain, the cognitive domain, that feeling that pride of reminiscence. You know, you may not remember too many details currently um, about the home that you're living in, but you'll be able to recall some of those happy memories. And that's why I have this background up. This is the Rideau Canal in Ottawa. I've got lots of childhood, happy childhood memories, skating the canal with my mittens, grabbing a beaver tail and a hot chocolate. Again, warm, warm, fuzzy memories for me. So that cognitive aspect, these calming rides down that familiar place. And then the social aspect as well, connecting with people, both culturally um, and, and religiously, there's all sorts of implications that, that are coming out and all these benefits that people are experiencing. And I, I'm really happy that you use that background because it does show, it show, I mean, it shows people a little bit more about what we're talking about, but it's also mm. lovely, it's a lovely background, and yeah. um, I, I'm going to look into more. I'll have a conversation with you later to see some of the other videos because, like I said, they're all over the world. Um, yeah. I also mentioned at the top of the show that Motiview also helps people stay socially connected. Could you expand for me on that? Mm, the social aspect is so incredibly important, especially during this pandemic, that we stay connected with each other. Um, one example are, are visitors that come in. Sometimes the grandkids don't really know what to talk to granddad about. But if you bring Motiview into the topic, granddad beams with pride and talks about his time in the military in this country or the honeymoon that I took with your grandma to this country. And they can share stories and socially connect with each other. Resident cyclists can connect too. Canada is so multicultural, it's what makes us great. And if you get two residents that speak the same language together, pedaling together, and they reminisce together, there's something special in there, socially connecting them for sure. Terrific. And um, just back on to the fact that the videos are from all around the world, mm -hmm. are you finding that that's really beneficial for seniors? Because there's a lot of seniors that can't travel anymore or some that didn't get to travel and then they get to see all these, um, you know, new spots. I watched the video of the lady on your website. I mean, mm -hmm. Your name's escaping me. You'll have to tell me her name again. But she was, you know, so excited to be able to go back to Israel. And then she said to me, which touched my heart, you know, I can now, I'm going to go and talk to my family about and tell them where I was, tell them I was in Italy or whatnot. What did you do today, mom? I went to Italy, right? And I, like, how, how are people finding being able to kind of pick where they're going? Oh my goodness, they love it. There's, as I said, that, that pride of going back to your hometown, right? Revisiting it, especially if you don't live in that city anymore. And as you said, you don't get out uh, very much anymore or travel anymore. And so to be able to visit Paris, and to, to see the Eiffel Tower and listen to Edith Piaf. Some homes compliment Modi View with some food from that country, make it a full experience, right? We can then pedal in Australia without the fear of the bugs and the critters, and we can maybe try some Vegemite if you're so inclined. Um, it, it's wonderful. My favorite video is I, I haven't been able to travel much of Asia, any of Asia, to be honest with you. And so to, to go through Marina Bay in Singapore, oh, what a beautiful spot. 
And again, that nice calm ride down that beautiful spot really takes the focus off of the, the pedaling and into that happy travel experience. I'm wondering as well, I love the fact that you're saying that, you know, the homes, the recreation directors are also incorporating like foods from that area and whatnot. And I'm, I'm specifically happy with that. You probably wouldn't get as much cramping <laughs> when you're, when you're eating and pedaling, if you can keep on a low motion. Right. And I think that integrating that in the retirement home or the long-term care home, it sets it all up um, to just be that more, much more active. A lot of people feel like they're, when they move to long-term care, when they move to retirement, that it's the end of the line, that they aren't going to be social, that they're going to stay in the room or whatnot. And there's lots of people that choose to do that. Um, but I feel like travel is such a big part of a lot of our lives or it's been, you know, around us a little bit. So how is everybody reacting in the retirement homes and the long-term care homes? And, and, and on top of that, I know you said the staff is dancing and stuff. What have you seen from staff, because I bet you, you know, as a previous recreation director, having something like that at the tip of my fingers would be super mm -hmm. beneficial for not only my planning, but also to be able to provide my residents with something super cool. Absolutely. It is something super cool. It's, it's something innovative, something different. And and bless those rec therapists and the, the staff in the, in the care communities. They, they do their best with what they got and, and they do an amazing job. They never cease to amaze us at Modi Tech. And so to, to, to support them in providing the video and musics and, and the pedals so that they can engage them in, in the resident that is in physical activity is, is, is an amazing opportunity for us to support these, these staff. Um, the staff love how easy it is to use. It's going to seem kind of silly that I say something like that. As an innovator, uh, we try to keep Modi View as simple to use as possible. We know that the staff can get frustrated with buttons and cords and cables and parameters that they have to set up. So we work with the staff to continue to listen and learn to make ModiView as easy to use as possible. Something as simple as hygiene. So using a touchscreen laptop, right, or a tablet that can easily be cleaned and can contact precautions these days is, is something that's critical for our success. Absolutely. Um, Sorry, yeah. go ahead. Keep going. <laughs> no, it's, I could go on forever, but I'm sure you've got some other questions for me. Oh, no, it's, it's really lovely because it brings it back to the roots. All of our viewers know that I have worked in with the retirement center for so long. And so I it totally hits home with me that, you know, the ease of use, it's not that, you know, people have trouble setting things up generally, but... I can tell you as a former rec director that they have about this much time. And so, yeah, right? And so the thing is, is if it can be as easy as possible, and now we've all went through COVID, you know, how can we make it as clean as possible, as almost transferable, you know, Mabel ends and then, you know, Jack wants to hop on or whatever. And it's like, how can we make that process fast so that everybody can get a chance that really wants, you know, wants a chance, wouldn't you say? Okay. Without question. And that's, as I said, listening and learning is something very important for us. So if if the listeners, if they're, they're staff in, in care homes, I want to encourage them to always feed back information to innovators like Modi Tech. We love to hear from you and to continue to develop Modi View 2.0, 3.0 to better serve you and the cyclist. That's where our heart is. And we want to not just do things for the sake of doing it to make it a shiny product, but to make sure that there's function in there. That's sure. help uh, drive sure. it home. Have you come across, I don't know if you can answer this, but have you come across at all um, any seniors that have been cyclists that are on, you know, digging this new invention and want to, you know, hop on because not only do they like the travel aspect, but they also used to be cyclists or anything like that? Yeah, talk about valued activities, right? If you were a cyclist in your earlier days, you should be able to be provided with a, a way to actually express that interest and to participate still. So I love sitting with the cyclists and trying to keep up with them. I mean, forget age. Some of these cyclists can pedal for hours, it seems. And so it's, it's amazing to provide that opportunity to pedal, whether they're even in a wheelchair, again, upper extremities, whatever cycling will look like for that cyclist, for that resident, excuse me, uh, let's do that. Um, and then again, to, to cycle in Italy, right, without the, the hills, it sounds good to me. <laughs> that sounds great to me. <laughs> Dan, before we go and before we end today, could you tell us more about your annual competition? I believe it's called War, Road War, I can't even say it out loud, 
Road, Road World for Seniors. Did I get it? You got Is it. That it? <laughs> you got it. Can you tell so us a little Road bit more? Yeah, absolutely. Road Worlds for Seniors is part of me, probably my favorite part of working at Motitech. It's our annual competition that we run in the fall for all of our users. Of course, it's optional, but we get a high acceptance rate, high participation rate. What we do is keep track of the distance that cyclists put in on their bikes. And then we start to compete. And we crown champions, whether it be a champion within that care community, internationally or nationally. Uh, we're crowning men's champion and women's champion, best team when it comes to distance and best support team because no athlete is complete without the support team. But my favorite part is we congratulate and celebrate every cyclist on their, their accomplishments. Everyone that participates in the Road Worlds for Seniors gets a medal regardless of how far they go. One quick story I'll share. I attended a, a medal ceremony after Road Worlds for Seniors was done and I was handing out medals saying congratulations. And there was this 92 year old gentleman, I believe he was walking with a rollator came up and he had a medal hanging off of his, his rollator. And I said, oh, did you already get one? He said, no, no, this is from last year. And he's starting a collection. And he calls up his grandkids, he's telling me, and says, I just got another medal for competing in this international competition. To give an idea, last year, COVID be damned, we had over 5,000 participants from 126 teams in 11 different countries. One of our corporate goals is to make Road Worlds for Seniors the largest sporting event by participant number. We've got stiff competition in the Boston Marathon, the New York Marathon, but we'll get there someday. We're confident in that. I think that's fantastic. I'm not sure if I missed it, but what's the timeline for it? Yeah, so Road Worlds for Seniors will run for four weeks in the month of October this year. Okay, great. It's a lot of fun. And I want to say you're not the only one that struggles with that name. We didn't actually come up with it. There's a UCI Road Worlds Championship for professional cyclists. Okay. And, and back five years ago, they had it in the city of Bergen, again, where we hail from. And there was no arrangement for the seniors. Right? They had pedaling for the, the kids in the daycares and the school system and even corporate um, office places started cycling, but there's no arrangement for the seniors. So we thought, well, we've got athletes, we've got cyclists, let's run our own competition. So we call it the Road Worlds for Seniors. I love it. I think that anything that also helps break down the stig uh, stigma around being a senior, around getting mm -hmm. older, it's also what I'm trying to do with our show here is just give information and get people involved all the time, right? So, Dan, how can people reach you? How can they uh, register for the competition? Can you tell us a bit more? Yeah, gladly. So you can check us out online, obviously, at modiview.ca. We're on all the social media channels. So check us out Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Um, send me a message at info at motitech.ca, and let's talk about getting your athletes, your dedicated athletes, competing in this year's Road Worlds for Seniors. That's awesome. Well, Dan, thanks so much for joining us today and telling me and our audience more about Motitech and the Motiview. I really appreciate it. So thanks so much for coming hey, on. My pleasure. And as we say at Motitech, Amy, I want to encourage you to pedal on. Keep it up. Wonderful. For more information on Dan and Motitech, head over to artfulagingwithamy.com. I've also put up a link to a video of Sylvia, is which is the senior cyclist that uh, we were talking about uh, to show you what this type of technology has done for her and her family. And there you have it. Please take a moment, like and share Artful Aging with your networks, help other families find and help, or sorry, find the help that they need. Remember, support is only one conversation away. And for me to all of you, I hope that you have a wonderful Wednesday.